Hello everyone, Repens the Turtle here with a new DIY project. Over the past few weeks, I've been working on an LED light panel to better grow small plants in a confined space. Now that I have it finished, I'm here to share exactly how I did it. In order to build a panel similar to this one, you'll need a variety of parts, including those pictured, as well as 22 gauge wire, a power strip, and switches. I began by laying out the LED strip color pattern and soldering. Throughout soldering, I would routinely pause and connect my testing adapter to the soldered strips to ensure that they were all properly connected. If you make a panel like this, be sure to leave a dab of hot glue underneath the soldered ends when you're finished so as to minimize the risk of electrifying the aluminum ducting. I found this out the hard way. The first few strips of the board took an embarrassingly long amount of time to solder. I gradually realized that the soldering becomes much faster when tinting the pads and wires as opposed to one or the other. Rather than sticking the wires on top of one another, I stripped segments of insulation off the wire and then bent it so that the exposed wire could be soldered down. When I purchased the power supply, I didn't bother to check if there was an included power cable, so I settled with taking one from an old power strip. Wiring the panel to the power supply is very simple. All you need to do is ensure that you're connecting each wire to the appropriate terminal and that your switches are wired in the proper orientation. For my panel, I opted to make two separate circuits, one to control the warm and cool whites, and the other to control the red and blue lights. The end product is more than capable of sustaining three Chinese takeout containers of small plants, and the plants I have under the lights seem to respond very well to the setup. When the power supply voltage is maxed out, the lux output exceeds 30,000 lux. However, this is at the consequence of substantial heat production. Rather than burn out the lights, I dialed back the power supply so that it produces minimal heat while supplying sufficient light. All considered, this project wound up costing me around $50, since I had many of the parts laying around. If I hadn't had these parts laying around, it would probably cost upwards of $75 to $100. While this is not a step-by-step -step building tutorial, I hope to help you to see what is possible with LED strip lighting, and that it could hopefully inspire you in future projects. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like it, feel free to check out some of my other project videos, and like, comment, and subscribe. Travel on, my fellow turtles.